Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 57? I think, 56? I'm pretty no, sure. It's not nah, it's definitely 57. Nah. 58? Nah, it's not 58. It's def- I think it's 57. Oh. So, welcome to episode number 57 No Regs Podcast, hosted by yours truly, DW, and you know, Jay's back on the channel, if y'all don't know already. Yo. If you didn't hear the voice. And before we start, I just want to shout out our sponsor, Natural Sheila Jeet. If you need something, I probably can put this on the camera. If you need something to help you stim- stimulate your mind, helping with anxiety, help with um, l- low energy, low testosterone, things like that, my people, if you need this, Go in the link in bio, code no regulars will save you some money and, you know, support us. You know, if you want a good podcast every week, code no regulars, natural shilogy, shout out you guys. There's some good stuff, people. It helps your energy, helps with your mind, helps with the focus. For my people in school, it helps you guys. So code no regulars and follow all the socials down below. Follow us on TikTok at no regulars. We're at 201 thousand hey. you know what i'm saying we're going up day by day slowly but surely follow us on instagram at no regulars dot podcast follow us on all podcasts and platforms at no regulars podcast um oh follow follow all the socials join the discord people join the discord if you guys want to play games with us we've been playing 2k call it new call of duty coming out if you guys want to play with us all that stuff i might play 2k later i am gonna play 2k <laughs> later um <laughs> Am I missing anything? Oh, subscribe to, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Welcome. And if you like the show, send it to a friend, comment, all that stuff. And, oh, to all my people waiting for their merch, to the the very, the very few. <laughs> if you're watching this, oh. <laughs> 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 I love you, brother. I understand it's a busy, it's been busy times, but, hey, but I'm just waiting for yeah, the shirts. Our shirts. Hey, she said it. I ain't say it, but shirts is coming soon. I got all the packaging stuff. Everything's going well. I got all that stuff. We just need the shirts, so it will be out soon, people. So thank you did for your patience. When, did he say when they were coming in? I texted him today. He didn't text me back. He's a busy guy, but yeah, it's coming soon. Oh, new collection coming soon. Pre-orders is probably gonna start up in a week or two. Uh, if you haven't followed the TikTok at No Regulars Dot Apparel, I might change the name. I ain't gonna lie. Your TikTok. No, the um, for the clothing. Why? No regular. I don't know. I feel like apparel sounds too like tacky and basic. Like everybody. Yeah, no regular gallery. That sounds kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I was gonna say world, worldwide, but it's like everybody has that shit. And it's like ah, uh, nah. You'll think of something. It'll come. Gallery don't sound too bad. You know, like art gallery. Yeah, it's okay. Not that. Nah. I don't know. Am I just? I just it's different. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, new shirts coming out, new designs already finished. Did you you seen the designs? Right? Yeah, I sent it to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chris mad because his designs a little plain. <laughs> How is it plain? Like he always, you always got something to complain about. <laughs> it's just he said. Um, what he say? He said because everybody's got the color to it. His is just black and white. I'm like, bro, don't need. Sometimes you just need that light. It's nice though. Like that was one of my favorite ones. I know. I don't, he just. He just. And he said he only has a black shirts. He could get the other shirts. <laughs> That's why I said, hey, people. So go cop some shirts. All that stuff. Follow the TikTok at NoRugs.Apparel for new updates, all the things like that, other content uh, and things of that nature. And yeah, so we got a good episode for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast where we will we won't, but we might get canceled one day. So cherish us while we last. <laughs> but I just want to talk about how the week has been going. So first today, because when you guys hear this, it's probably going to be Sunday. It's Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday at the moment. I had my first exam. That shit. Me, you had an exam today too, mm-hmm. right? Jay swears she fails her exams, but I swear <laughs> she began. I be saying I pass my exams, I fail. She say she fails and she passes. I don't understand, but I had a feeling to. The, I had a no. Nah, when I went to the dentist, I was like sitting in the chair. I was sitting there for like twenty minutes. So then, so then, uh, she walks in right and she's like, "Oh, two, it was two of them." So it's usually one. So I'm like, "All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a cleaning." But I had a cleaning like two months ago. So I'm like. What the hell is this? So then she's like, oh, you have a feeling. So I'm like, okay, feeling's not that bad. But then she was like, do you want anesthesia? Like, they gonna knock. I'm like, that shit gonna hurt that bad? 
And she's like, nah, it's kind of small, so it probably won't hurt that. But I'm like, it won't, like, it probably won't. Like, what if it does? Like, you gonna, yeah, like, bro, because I'm like, I'm thinking, and she's like, do you want the needle or not? She was like, uh, I was just laughing. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck to do. I was like, nah, you know, I don't need it. And they was just drilling in my teeth. And then there was, oh, I don't like, it's just an uncomfortable feeling, bro. Yeah, it, it don't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. Like, it's just, oh, but like when they get to that part where it's like in your tooth, like nerve, and then it's just like, ah, oh, I just, oh, it makes my skin crawl. Bro. I just don't like the taste. Like, it tastes like, what construction smells like? You be tasting that shit? Yes. I don't. I just I just let the the, the spit pile up and just spit it out. No, that's so <laughs> nasty. What? Because the spit like I tend to get a lot of saliva, so like my sh- my thing just be all the way up here, and like you know the little thing that they use to suck up the yeah. saliva. They just don't. They just leave it there, like the not hell, doing nothing. Where the hell you go? They, they should not work properly. <laughs> what the hell? You got to poop. You about to drown. No. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Talk about something. I got that. What? Nah, I, I don't taste it. I spit it out immediately. At least. How can you spit it out immediately? Or like, because the shit supposed to suck it up. Unless your shit is just like, <laughs> pause. What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> you got you weird <laughs> but and then she was talking about so because she's a filipino lady she was like yeah people in america got it are spoiled because in the philippines they don't have anesthesia i'm like imagine you have who, a, who gets anesthesia for a feeling no i'm talking about like in general oh. so imagine you have and you think you're getting your uh your wisdom teeth taken out oh hell no you got me messed up bro i was talking about this before but hell no you wisdom know. teeth root canal like i'm gonna need to be put to sleep i heard root canals hurt really badly like my mom had a, a bunch of them that's why that's why i eat sugar-free stuff i don't eat too much candy guys people save your teeth and cherish what you have because in other countries they're looking at us like guys and y'all be y'all be complaining like oh they always think if you ever think you hit rock bottom always there's always somebody that's way lower than you that's how i always think about it. if i something god forbid that's how i always feel like if i'm always doing bad that should be pissing me off. <laughs> like, if I'm, like, get really, really mad, be like, or, like, I'm sad about something, be like, it's okay, because somebody else is having an even worse day. That's what I used to tell you when you used to get upset about the podcast. Yeah, I know. Hey, it, it worked. I should be. I should just think of those people, like, like the homeless people that freaking be outside in the rain, and they got no, it's just cold. No cold. I'm like, dang. <laughs> if I was homeless, I think I'd, nah, I don't know. If I could, if I can, like, if I could, like, wash my body, I think I'd be straight. Mm-mm. You know, things so. I need to sleep like in the summer. Imagine sleeping outside. I need my AC. You in this AC? <laughs> it's not that bad. You know, mm. you could just you be under the bridge. It's gonna, it might be cold that night. I need to eat. I can't. Can shake. I'm a dance, bro. They're gonna give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. But what are we gonna talk about this week? Um, is there anything I want to talk about before I go into the topics for the week? But oh, Antonio Brown was wilding. That's one oh, of the yeah. topics I had. Nah, he's OD. He yeah. needs to. I don't even know. People, if y'all if y'all don't know, bro, Antonio Brown was in Dubai. I can't even show things of that nature on here, so I would don't even. I don't even advise to look that up. Out Go here. on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter got everything. Freaking ass naked in the pool, j- putting the putting his butt in people's faces, had his meat out, freaking. He was posting. You know, he posted Tom Brady's wife and and shit. You know, they're going through a divorce now. For real? I don't think it's because of that, though, but, like... Well, that's probably why he posted it, because yeah. he probably knew they were going through a divorce. I mean, like, Tom looked kind of skinny. <laughs> mm-hmm. He lost hella weight. But everybody's bashing Antonio Brown over that stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I thought he would got arrested for that shit. You should get arrested for that. Because what is that? That's, like, public. That's in another But country, Dubai so is strict, know. though. Then people, at least... Man, I don't know what's going I don't know what's going What's going on with your boy, bro? This no, shit, my boy. Steal this people, bro. No, I swear. Boy. Don't do that. <laughs> it's don't not. Do that. It's not. No. Why not? Why not? What? It's hey. not it's Steelers people. I don't be like that. <laughs> my other, my other um teammates don't be like that. Juju, Juju was weird at one point. How? Blue hair. Everybody dyes their hair. Nah, he look weird. You got it. That was that was fly. He no, he's just a weird person, but he don't do. Don't yeah, uh, yeah, that. Antonio Brown. I think he's on drugs, bro. I hope he, he gets some help. Be. I hope he gets some help, bro. But what else we gotta talk about? Oh, oh. So I was watching. I was watching something the other day, right? Because you know how P and B Rock died mm-hmm. like a couple of R and P. My 
R.P. my man, but that shit hurt my soul. But I almost cried, but I ain't gonna lie, I almost cried. But every artist I like, that man be passing away. But they was talking about how, like, big labels would sign people that live in, like, dangerous situations just just in case for the fact that if they die or go to jail, they'll get a lot of publicity off of that. I don't even know the label's names. Like, I just know the artists. I don't know who anybody is signed to. Like, like, because, like, think about it, right? It's like they don't. They're not saying it's true, but they're just saying that's like what, like, uh, happens usually. Because I think about it, if an artist like dies or goes to jail, like their music, everybody listens to their music Mm -hmm. a lot more, so they get more sales because of that. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of the people in the industry think that's why they, they. I mean, they sign them because they're good at what they do. Of course, they do that. But it's like, dang, like if that's the case, like really the case of why they give them this much money. Because like, think about it. I feel I know when you get signed, I think they give you a lot of money to like look the part. Like you they give you like like twenty thousand up front to go um buy chains. I mean, you know, just look like you're a rapper rapper. But mm-hmm. it's like, dang, why can't you give them some money to go buy a house? Yeah. Like the first thing you tell them to do is go buy a chain. So I'm like, dang, maybe cause P and B Rock died over his chain, all his jewelry and shit like that. But you know that they caught the kid too? Yeah, it was a kid and a father. Yeah, I heard it was like his um was it i think the kid shot him mm-hmm. the father was the getaway driver that's sad bro why for bro? what right like, like it, was like, it worth it i don't understand because think about it if you get freaking say say you say you get the chains what are you gonna do with it you can't you can't trade it in like it says his name on it you obviously stole it you're gonna get like I feel like I don't know what the, the I feel like the only point of when people like get they chain snatch is only if like what's it called? They um it's like the the ops and they just wanna the flex like oh I took your chain. Mm-hmm. But if you like if you just a nobody and you need some money you wanna take it you might as well rob a bank. Take his chain and kill him. Like for what? Like you <laughs> what might was as, the reason? Like you might as well just like rob the, the Roscoe's. You would have had a better chance of freaking getting away with that than getting away with taking the man and chain and mm-hmm. killing him. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, who are you going to give that to? You can't give it to a jeweler to get the money back, right? Because right? they're going to know you killed him. And they're going to, or not even know you killed him. You're going to know you, who you got it from. Even if you didn't kill him. If you would have brought that somewhere, it's like, what are you going to do with it? Like, if you didn't kill him, what are you going to do with the jade? I mean, he could have sold it if you didn't kill him. Sold it where? To anybody. Anybody would want PNB Rock Stream. Nah, I wouldn't buy that shit. The, the cops going to come after me thinking I stole it. Nah. Be like, unless, I bought it from somebody. Unless he got, unless he sells it to somebody that's like overseas, then that's like, like the mob type shit. And that's, that's completely different. But if he's like going to like, if, if he had no plan behind it and just walks in and just like, yo, robbed him and was like, what do I do now? You're dumb as fuck. Cause like, what are you, like, you can't go to a bank with that shit. Nah. You probably, I mean, there's jeweler places that will buy it. They don't, some people don't know who PNB Rock is. Like, really? Do. You think they'll really buy that shit? Yeah. Who like let's say he goes into a place that they don't know who P and B Rock is. Mm, I guess they're gonna be like, "This is real." They're gonna give him the money. So say you're a jeweler, right? Mm-hmm. You don't know any. You don't know. You don't know, like most rappers and things like that. But you just work as a jeweler. If somebody comes up with you to you with a chain, like a big ass chain that looks like it came from a rapper. Are you buying it? Yeah. You gonna buy it? I'm not buying that shit. Why not? Because I'm not gonna you be don't part know, of this. You don't know that he stole it. How do you know that he stole it? It could be his. Why would he sell it to me? Because he wants money. Nah, I don't know. I would he be. He don't. Not. He don't want the chain. He wants the money for it. You think so? I don't think it's that suspicious. Like, especially <clears throat> if I didn't know the person. Like, why would I automatically think they stole the chain? Oh, so you just I think, it's, just their think it's their chain? their chain like you're coming in unless he raggedy looking to sell a chain <laughs> unless he look like a bum <laughs> like unless he look great like if he didn't have no haircut he had no haircut uh, I, I see the clothes like i'm gonna look at him like he's gonna be like oh this is my chain i'm gonna look at him like hmm. especially if he's like he's like rushing to do it like yo like well, how much yeah would i mean if he look like a bum from the streets i'm gonna be suspicious i'm gonna be like should i really buy this like if he's the bum on freaking tunnelly tunnelly i'm gonna be like now don't do my people like that. Now they you bum, know. They're people too. Just call them homeless. <laughs> homeless. They ain't bums. Whatever. <laughs> get me canceled. They gonna what? be like, damn. That's not cancel worthy. <laughs> we say a lot worse shit on here. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I just feel as though all the chain snatching. It's uh it's just it's just dumb to me, bro. Tuck your chains, people. 
I'm not talking about jeans. Who the fuck want my shit? My shit not really anyway. I don't even got one. To <laughs> you don't even honest. wear jeans. I know, right? But I got a question for you, right? So someone is offering you a hundred million dollars. <laughs> so someone is offering you a hundred million dollars, but the but the circumstance is your mother has to go to prison for a year. What are you doing? <laughs> She's going to prison for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like get her out. Like I mean, well, she for, has to go to a prison for a year. Go, yeah, she's going to. Pr- she's gonna want me to take that hundred mil. I'll give her some. The worst prison in the country. <laughs> what are you talking about, San Quentin? I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to send my mom to prison. Sorry, mom. I don't know if you can survive prison. Well, <laughs> 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 my mom, mom, I love you. That's how much I love no, you. No, I don't know if my mom could survive prison because she got a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna they gonna bump her. She be like, "Why are you bumping me?" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! Like my mom. Oh my god, mom, I love you, Bob. But a million dollars, a hundred million dollars. That's a lot of. Unless I'm still sending her. She'll, but she'll get it. No, my no, my mom. She's gonna be like, "You better <laughs> send me the person." She's like, "That's a lot of money." She that is a hundred million dollars just for one year. That's three hundred sixty-five. What if your mom don't survive? She will. <laughs> she goes tough. Just, I'm gonna be like, just don't mess with nobody. Just stay to yourself. My mom five foot. Or I'm gonna tell her make <laughs> friends. So then, if somebody try to get her, then they got her back. Nah, she my good. Mom, my mom good. quiet. She five foot. I love your mom, but I don't know if you are gonna hold her down in San Quentin. I don't even know if that's a male. If, a, if that's a woman's prison, I know that's a male prison. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you gonna hold it down. I, I, I'm, I'm hold. I'm holding it down for y'all here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I don't think I can send her there. For a hundred million? hundred million is a lot. She would want me to, though. I'm going to give her some, too, so she's going to be like, yeah, take it. Oh, no. Nah, if, if, like, she survives, I'm going to give her, like, half. Oh, no, nah, not half. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give her, like, it's your mom. She, she could have died like, in there. She's the reason why you got that hundred million. She could have, like, 25. 25? <laughs> Yo. 25 mil is a lot. I know, but. She need to be thankful. <laughs> I don't think my mom wants that much because my mom saves a lot. So she's just gonna. I feel like she will be cool, with like, like a like a million dollars. I'll give her twenty five. Have seventy five mil to myself. We both set for life. Yeah, but you gonna send her there? Like no hesitation. I have a little hesitation. Like you gonna feel bad? <laughs> I will. Like what? Like what? She get beat up. Dang. Like like so. Say you don't get the money until she gets out. Oh wait, no, no, that's not, not that, not that, because that's a, because like when she don't get out, you do that for no reason. But it's like, say, say you have the money right now, and like say like you can you can get her out of jail, but she has to stay in there. Say you get out of jail. Nah, actually, I'm I'm not gonna do that stipulation because you can spend all that money and that however long you want. <laughs> but dang, bro, you see you see what your daughter do to you? I thought about it. I was like, nah. I'm gonna think about it and I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna ask her first. I'm gonna be like, "You think you could survive?" All right. So if you could choose a fam, one of your family members, who would it be? <laughs> like my immediate family, like my mom, dad, brother. Yeah. I'm sending my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh. You think Benji go? I'm saying I ain't gonna. I'm saying my dad. I don't think that's a, my dad's six six, bro. Ain't nobody messing that guy. <laughs> He might get recruited to be one of the one of the guys. Benji has anger issues though, so he might not survive. <laughs> I know, like 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 male prison is worse. Like yeah. that's where the murderers and, and should be. I'm gonna send my grandma. That's messed up. <laughs> Nobody, nah, your grandma, her. I'm telling you, your, yo, people, her grandma has dementia. To this day, I think she's like a. I, I don't know, your grandma. Be, I think she's plotting on me sometimes. I tell you, if this, you would have listened to my book Verity, that's what's happening. Right now? Verity, like she was faking it. I be telling you, your grandma just, just waiting for the right time to strike on y'all. <laughs> I'm Don't a, say that. I ain't, it ain't going to happen to me. I be ready. If I'm in a room by her, me and her by herself, and she jump at me, I'm ready to swing. <laughs> but, oh, God, I be thinking about that moment. I'm telling my mom. What you mean? <laughs> she, don't, she want me to protect my, if your grandma. Like, my I'm, grandma is not going to get up and hit you. Nah, like she just try to strangle me. Like if I just see a girl. She's not strong enough. She she, can, it's going to feel like this. I know, but you never know, bro. Just in case. Just in case, I might just, I'm sorry. I'm, gonna to, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna uppercut. Old nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right hook, <laughs> <laughs> right hook straight, bro. All right. So, would you rather have a tree that grows money or fifty percent coupon to any st- for every store in the world? A tree that grows money. Hell no! I'm getting that fifty percent. You're crazy. Why? 
a tree that grows well like wait time out time out we talking Pause. about a tree one tree does it continuously grow money or yeah it gonna... continuously grows money so for the rest of my life yeah the tree that's not you even a question much, you don't know how much money is on there but it's continuously growing money so i'm gonna rack like, that up like some days it might be dollar like you know how like but you, just imagine when the wind blows if it's a windy day no nah, that's just that, i'm collecting my money i'm a i'm a trap it Oh, you're going to trap the tree? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting that 50%, bro. Every store, 50% off. Just mm-hmm. imagine this shit, 50 cents. I don't got to do much. 50% off when you still broke. 50% off gas. And you still broke. I'd rather be rich and have It could be dollar price. bills. But it's still it's continuously growing and growing and growing. But so like, dollar bills is going to go a long way. But like, it's a it's like a, okay, so say it's like a, Say it's like a normal, like a normal tree. Like it, like when the when the when it gets to fall, like the leaves fall down. So for the winter, you ain't got no money. See now, you now you're doing a lot. That's what a tree does. It's a tree. <laughs> I'm gonna still pick the tree. I'm not going back on. You go have like four, <laughs> like every year you go get like four hundred dollars. There might be you. Sometimes it might come out with twenty dollars bills, hundred dollars bills, but like you never know. It might one season might be straight ones. <laughs> you gonna just take the tree? My but, tree. Nah, bro. I'm taking the motherfucking five fifty percent coupon. Think about it. Just because it's forty dollars now, it's not eighty. Yeah, but if I got a tree that grow money, I don't gotta worry about that. If I have fifty, what do you mean? I don't gotta worry about you it. You said eighty. Just because not no eighty dollars. For me, and you would be eighty dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, for both. That should be like eighty something, ninety dollars. Damn. It man. never hit ninety. Yeah, it did. No, it did. It hit one time. I remember. I thought it was gonna be eighty three. That shit said ninety six. I was hella sad. Oh. It was the gratuity that, that was rocking, but I think it was like a Saturday night. Or no, it's because you be trying to add extra. You be like, let me get that sausage going. Cuz, bro, like that. Pause. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> How you just going to say all that shit? <laughs> like, you didn't even say pause talking to me about I'm, all I want is sausage, bro. Like, you can't just be saying that shit out here, bro. What is wrong with you? <laughs> thank God, but I think I don't got a big uh, big platform like that. It would have been clipping my ass. <laughs> I'd been all over TikTok. I, that shit must be annoying. Like having like, a big platform. No, like now nah, that must be fun and annoying because like they just clip you at random moments and make you just seem like remember <laughs> like with, like with Kai and stuff. Mm-hmm. They'd be a, like, "Don't clip that." <laughs> <laughs> they be video like, but like people really just be watching like little moments. I remember it looked like like Duke was twerking on Kai at one point, <laughs> and one I'm like, "How y'all do that?" Nah, no, but how do they just sit there and record the whole stream? Like that's weird. That that too, I don't know. Like, you think there's niggas in here that, that was watching the whole stream, like, his whole, like, 24-hour stream? For sure. Damn. Stream. There was 200,000 people watching that shit. Mm-hmm. There was definitely somebody in there watching that whole thing. Dang, bro. And staying up with him. Really? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I wouldn't have stayed with that man, bro. Mm-mm. He's pretty entertaining, though. Shout out to him, though. He is. He's a good... He came up... I remember when A&P first started, he wasn't even in the first four episodes, bro. They say he was the richest in A&P now. Oh no, he I wouldn't be surprised. He really Twitch got him hella bread. You know how much you know much how much he much uh, about <laughs> good. You know, what the hell? I'm speaking Chinese. <laughs> you know how much money he probably made off that one stream alone? He probably made like a million dollars. Cause I don't even know how Twitch a works. A month a month agent said he make like five hundred K each month from only Twitch. So imagine YouTube. He don't even have to go on YouTube no, I had a no list, more. I, I said YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't even have to go on YouTube no more for real. At least I don't think he do. You think he still goes? I don't think he has to. He just wants to. He probably wants to. Dang, bro. That's a good life. We gonna get up there someday. That is a good life. We gonna get up there soon, bro. We want me, y'all people want me to be on Twitch, bro? Let me know in the comments. I'll be on Twitch. I think I'll be I'll... thinking about it every day. What? <laughs> <laughs> about to cry. What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My eyes just getting watery. But like how people really just have it. I mean, not easy because there's work behind like going on Twitch and setting up hella stuff for like 24 hour streams and YouTube videos. But like. You have to have a strong Wi Fi connection. I'm telling you. They motherfuckers. I don't know what they got. But like, just imagine just all that money coming in just for you streaming just, in your house. I'm telling making you. Making fun YouTube videos with your friends. Like, that's crazy. Don't worry. We're going to be up there soon. Give me. I always say this, bro. I feel like before I'm 30, I think I'm going to make a million dollars. I talk about Manifest I think, it. talk about it all the time. It's like people people wish they make a million dollars. Yo, people, never hope for things. Always know things because the hope is for the weak. You know what I'm saying? That's mm. food for thought. You know what I'm saying? Hope is for the weak. Clip that. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that to, shit to me. I don't got nobody <laughs> recording this shit. But nah, I really feel like 
Like, I don't know. I always feel like if I wasn't certain on things, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. You know, because I'm cheap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm cheap. So I'm like, if I wasn't certain this is going to do well, I wouldn't be doing this, especially with clothing, this. I might start doing other things. Stay tuned. So it's like, yeah, by 30, I wouldn't be surprised if I had a million dollars. I expect it. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you work hard at things, you get rewarded for things like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So stay tuned, bro. Who knows? I might be doing this still when I'm 30. I hope. Nah, I probably will. You will. I ain't never hope, bro. What the fuck? I know I'm doing <laughs> shit. <laughs> what I'm talking about. But what things do I want to talk I got another thing we want to talk about for the day. So I have a question on here. Mm-hmm. Is time travel real? I don't know. Like, I want to... I want to say no, but I feel like there there is something along those lines. See, I think time they they was describing it time travel as something different than what we like per se it is. So like you know time is like moving forward and backwards. Supposedly time travel is like say it's like it's not like like forward and backwards like vertically it's like sideways. So it's like it's not like this. It's like it's like oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like. So everything in time is like next to each other and like to get through it, it's like you have to like, I don't know, there's like, they say that there's like a certain thing you have to practice and you have to master it. And there's actually people that actually have done it to like, it's it's kind of like going through dimensions in a way. So like at this moment right now, it's like 50 years in the past, but it's just like we can't see it because of the di- like different, um, I forgot what it's called, like different. So you think there's time travel for the past? Yeah, like, it's just like, I feel like it's just like you got to phase through it. Like, phase through the different, like, it's like bubbles. So it's like phase through the di- different dimensions. Like, one bubble is like probably in the 50s, shit like that. But it's like, it's really hard to explain. Like, I was listening to it. I'm just like, he was talking about hella big words, quantum mechanics. I was like, nigga, what the <laughs> fuck you talking about? But I think if somebody, I feel like they have either they they did time travel or they're on the verge of making time travel or they they're doing it and they're just not telling us because there's a lot of things on the internet that shows people that there was a picture in the 1950s of a guy wearing a hoodie, sunglasses and had a smartphone. He was taking a picture of like a game. And then there was another video of a Mike Tyson fight where if you look at if you zoom in in the background, you see a guy holding up a smartphone, but it's like the 19 like 90s. So it's like nobody ever had a smartphone back then. But at the end of the day, it could be like Photoshop. Photoshop, yeah. So like you never know. Like that's why Photoshop is really evil. <laughs> like niggas can really just manipulate hella shit. Yeah. So like I, you never, I don't know. I think whoever made the freaking The Simpsons is hinting that he did the time travel. He definitely time traveled. There's no way you telling me he predicted hella stuff and like that. Man, he you didn't know, time travel. Like you know, he predicted the the queen dying. Same exact way. That's crazy. He I, definitely time traveled. I don't know, bro. It's just time travel is just like a very sticky subject. Like people think that aliens are people that time travel from the future to come back to make to watch us to make sure their future doesn't happen. Say like we destroyed the world and they're like they're here to like make sure we don't do it like again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they came from the future to like try to fix what they missed up in the past. And that's why they're here. Supposedly. That's one thing that they say about time travel. I don't know about all that. I just think, I think time travel, I think there's maybe a couple people in the world that probably have done it before. I feel like, but I also feel like there's possibilities for anything. Yeah. I think people time travel, but they're never going to like tell us about it. Like never. Cause would, then we'll be cheesing that. Would you tell somebody? No. You don't tell you wouldn't would you tell me? Mm-hmm. Okay. I would tell like my immediate family, but not like your friends. I wouldn't tell your friends. Yeah. I think I would tell like a couple people. Like, you know, you guys, you, my family. No more than ten. <laughs> <laughs> no more than ten. No, because once you get it out of the immediate family, that's when your friend gonna tell your other the other friend, the other friend gonna tell his family and hey, it's we over. Do, we just gonna go back in time and fix it. <laughs> but like if I could really like if you can go back in time what or in the in, would you rather go back in time or in the future I think in back in the past you would cause I wouldn't want to see how my future is oh yeah what if it's shit bad right yeah I would go back in the past but the past is pretty bad though yeah I want to like 
I don't want to live through it, but I want to see how people live during that time or any time in the past. Uh, like where though? Like when? Hmm. I don't even know. I would want to go to a lot of places in the past. Don't go back to slavery. They gonna no, look at you no. like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Light skin, curly hair. <laughs> they gonna think you a boss. <laughs> they gonna look at us like, what the hell are these things? No. Nah. I don't know. I just would want to, I wouldn't want to go to the future, so I picked the past. All right. I think I would. I would only go into the past just to see if it's actually all oh, this shit. Like some of the shit is true. Yeah, especially the things that they put in history books. Yeah, Jay don't believe in the history books. Not, do you believe in all the stuff, or some of it? I mean, I believe in like slavery, obviously, like the the main things. Yeah. But like the little things that they be saying and how it went down. How do you know? Like. Yeah. See, so why we say that people is because I believe that the truth is not the truth until you. Witness it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's like this, right? It's not really the truth. It's like trust. Because mm-hmm. you just, whatever makes a truth is just a whole bunch of people agreeing to that one thing. But you're just trusting what they say about mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, so say this shit is brown. Of course, I know it's brown because I'm looking at it right now. But say i never seen this before. Somebody told me, oh, this box is brown. And, like, 50 people said it. They could be lying to me. 50 people could be lying. So you never know. And it's like, if you get one group started on a lie and they don't even know that's a lie, then it just keeps rolling, 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 rolling. That's how they can hide history. That's why it's not that hard to hide, hide, um, cover up shit. That's why the government does that shit every day, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like, okay. There was a story, you know who Jeffrey Epstein is? Mm-mm. So Jeffrey Epstein is a guy that supposedly he was like a register, like, sex offender and he was like doing like child trafficking so he got arrested and put in prison for stuff like that but he i think he had like a whole island where he was just doing hello i don't really know for sure so don't quote me on this people i'm like really vague on it so it's like he would like i guess bring people to like this little this little island like kids and like i don't know what he was doing with these kids but he said that supposedly celebrities was going to that island too and doing the stuff with the kids and he was about to expose those celebrities and hire up people but they said he supposedly killed himself in prison like as suicide but like they don't think like nobody but like nobody believes that he did that because they think he was really gonna like his lawyer doesn't believe that at all like he didn't have no reason to kill himself Mm -hmm. like he was already like in jail like so what but he would they say he was gonna expose like they was talking about people like tom hanks like big time actors they said i remember Tom Hanks was in a, a freaking movie. I forgot. They would say like, oh yeah, he was in one of the, the Epstein islands. And like, that's like a big like cover up. Like they really stopped him for just exposing all the big higher up people that was actually doing some shit like that. I believe that. Well, like, I don't know if there was an island for it, but I believe some famous people be doing stuff to little kids. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> or kids in general, like definitely. Not like freaking seven year olds, but like underage. Drake, oh for sure. Sorry, people. I'm the. I ain't going to expose. Oh, that's a game. hot take. I ain't going to expose the game, but I, I know, I know for a fact. Drake, Chris Brown. I know for a fact that a 17, 16 year old girl, like they DM the 17, 16 year old girl, didn't know what age they were. They lied about their age. They flew him out, did all this shit, and then they told him after. I know he did, but I know there's no way. Drake got a girl in every city. <laughs> Drake got girl every city, goddamn near every damn country, every city, every state. Drake got somebody. If somebody, if you if Drake DM you, bro, you 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 feel like you this shit. Hell no, Drake is ugly. I don't know how girls think he's cute. Cause he got money and a nice house. And if he, got he was just a regular plate. guy in the street, people would not view him like that. Money changes people. You know that money changes how people view people. Scary to think. It's disgusting to think, but it's like. And I, I know, bro. I know he was just like, you 17? So what, bro? Well, you about to be... She was probably like, I'm about, about to turn 18 next one. She's like, I, I know. I mean, bro. isn't someplace like out of the country like legal age, like 16 or something? No, I think Japan's like 13. 13, yeah. But that's age of, That's like consent like to like do it. I don't think that's like do it with a... Man, I, don't know. I don't know if that's doing like an older person. I don't mm. know. It's the Asian people, bro. So... Shout out to the, <laughs> shout out to the land. It's like I don't know, bro. 
I'm not I'm not accusing that man doing nothing. I'm not accusing him doing jack. Yeah, no, we not. Don't cuz they they going to clip it. I know. <laughs> I'm I'm clipping this shit. <laughs> but I don't know, man. But oh, I got another thing to talk about. Since you're talking about like the world and shit like that. So like I've noticed and I I've been watching stuff about like you know, there's like places around the world. You know, there's a lot of places in the world like jungles, forests that haven't been touched by humans. And like you ever notice like the animals like flourish in that environment. So like say there's a there's a place in the Congo where a river cuts off and like floods a land and it's like a little it's not really an island, but it's like a little land like in the middle of like a river. It's like pretty big though. And it's like there's like only like water buffalo. So the lions that live there only eat the water buffalo. So the lions are like twice the size of normal lions. Mm. So think about it. A normal lion probably about like four, three, four hundred pounds. These mm-hmm. lions is like six, seven. Like the like the lionesses, like the little the girl lions, the same size as like the normal male lions, because they have to hunt and kill. Like they have to adapt to like yeah. the water boat because they're huge. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and then there's other there's a there's an island called Kodiak Island in Alaska where it's just full of bears. And like the bears is like the Kodiak bear is like the biggest, I think bear in North America. That's just, them. She's grow to like eleven feet, and it's like, but like the terrain there is like really rough. So like nobody goes there. So it's like when whenever humans touch, I feel like it just, just like ruins like, like ruin, like you know whatever we touch like we ruin we ruin everything. Mm-hmm. So it's like up there they have like the elks is like a normal elk is probably like three four hundred pounds or maybe like six no six seven hundred pounds they got elk like eleven uh eleven hundred pounds up there the size of two elks they're definitely more healthier that's why that's what i'm saying because they don't got they don't have humans like touching nobody could go there and like i remember i was watching a guy talking about a bear attack story like he was up there like hunting i think hunting or something hunting elk Mm -hmm. and a bear attacked him they said the bear was like 12 feet long like almost like 12 1300 pounds like just imagine how big that shit is we definitely deprive them from food over here. Exactly. So it's like the closer they are, it's like the smaller they are because there's not enough food around here. So it makes sense. So it gets me to think that like what if there's certain places around the world that has different animals that we never like because we can't get there. They have animals that survived millions of years like their ancestors like dinosaurs type shit. Dinosaurs? Because they say that in the Congo, in a very dense jungle in the Congo... There's a, you know what a brontosaurus is? The, the long neck dinosaurs. There's a dinosaur that lives in that jungle. And it says, like, they said it's located in a rainforest that hasn't been touched by anybody. It survived, like, the last ice age type shit. Like, it's, but why hasn't the rainforest been touched? Because it's so dense. Like, nobody mm-hmm. could, like, go through it. It's like, there's, like, like the wetlands is, like, goes up to your nose. Mm-hmm. And they said there's leeches in there so as soon as you so once you get out the leeches then there's like another parasite that like goes up your little your pee pee <laughs> like it's like on snails like in the water so it's like once you survive all that they say there's like a lake in the middle and that's where he like stays and it's not like it's not like it's like a folklore it's like people say the pe- they're native people that live there if you ask them about the dinosaur they'd be like oh yeah we know about the dinosaur you want us to take you there but it's like do you want to survive and there was a guy I was watching on Joe Rogan podcast I said he went out there to go like find a dinosaur and he was like he was skeptical at first but once he got into the jungle he realized like yo there might be a dinosaur in here because like everything in here is like huge like he said the the spiders is like this big the frogs is big like all the vegetation like they said the jungle is so dense like during the daytime it's like dark oh no so it's like anything could like things could really that shit could probably hide in there they said the british army when they was um going through africa they said they would they there's like sightings of it. They seen like a dinosaur looking creature because it swims in the water and just like stays around the lake. Nat Geo, the Nat Geographic Channel, they be talking about it like they, they see sightings of it maybe every couple years, probably three, four years, they talk about it. But it's like, if like that piece of land is really untouched like that, like what, what, what possibility? There could be something that huge that could really live in there. Yeah, I believe it. I think there's a lot of animals that we haven't seen. Yeah, because it's like, like I was talking about before, there's a bunch of animals that probably we thought probably got like, went extinct, but it's, didn't go extinct mm-hmm. at the same time. Because like we don't know for a certain sure, like we just see their bones. And we just we just like at the end of the day, we just guess most of the time. Yeah, we assume that they're extinct because there's not a lot of them. Exactly, but there could still be one or two still alive. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and it was like, um, what are they saying? They was talking about like they find like new. They like even, I think 
every couple of weeks they was talking about oh we found new prehistoric animals that we thought was like alive thought was dead but they're now alive and it's not like they're finding like the huge things because like you wouldn't want to tell the public there's a big dinosaur because everybody gonna go rush over there and they might get killed mm-hmm. but they probably just talk about the little shit like a little like meerkat yeah and like they was talking about like the ice caps is starting to melt now so like things in that ice cap is starting to melt away but I don't think I don't, you think that's possible what like welcome back people <laughs> technical difficulties the cameras turned off on us but we're back so I think we just left off of talking about how the the <clears throat> what are you saying? I think the ice caps melting and unleashing whatever is left in there. Oh, oh, no. oh yeah, I well, was on my story. Oh, with the hamsters. About how hamsters they, when they get too cold they hibernate and they like basically like play dead. Oh really? And like people tend to um think they're dead. Think they're dead and like bury them or throw them out, and they're really just hibernating. <laughs> Wow, that's actually kind of, so. Is that the same? Because like you know, you could do that. I think you could do that with like frogs and like like certain like like butterflies. Like remember, butterflies for butterflies too. Like you could freeze butterflies freeze. and like that's how they package them. Like they package them frozen and then they like that's that's weird though. Like so, do you think you could do that with humans? You freeze a heart. Like if you could do that with certain animals like that, you could probably do that with humans. That's crazy. Cause like maybe maybe if you like if it's a certain temperature like it might work, yeah. Cause, I mean that's like a way to preserve like things like keeping them frozen and shit like that. So mm-hmm. maybe, huh? That's tough. Cause I didn't even know that with the hamster thing. Yeah. Cause I know they do that with frogs too. Like they they freeze frogs. They do with frogs. Yeah, like you could freeze a frog and then when you thaw it out, it's like you never seen the videos. Like they they be thawed out, but it's like. It's like their legs is still frozen. And they just crawling. Ooh, that's nasty. But dang, so like, imagine like you just because I think there was a project. I don't know who it was. Cause I know, like you know, I, I don't, it wasn't Walt Disney. It was somebody. There's like a they did a study. There was like if you you can volunteer to be frozen in time, and like they're gonna freeze you, and then they're like it's probably people that's like either about to die, or like getting older. It's like, All right, we can freeze you, and we can just like thaw you out when like. You want? Yeah. But it's like, dang, what are you thinking about that whole time? You think? I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe you think you're just sleeping. So it's like just like a big, dream big shape? dream. <laughs> I don't know. That's also plays in with the simulation thing too. Cause like, imagine that's us. Like we're sleeping right now. That's but like, sad. but like, that's creepy. Like imagine like we're just frozen. No, but this feels like real life though. Like it don't feel like a dream. You never know. Your brain is a very powerful tool, bro. But you know how when you're sleeping, how a dream feels, though. Yeah, but like I feel like dreams is just like like the tip of the iceberg, like of how strong like because I feel like your brain could really like make something seem so real. So when we die here, we go into our another life that we were frozen. That's what I think. I think I don't think you like. I think when you die, I think yo get this one <laughs> out of here. I think I think when you die, it's just like you um you just like restart. But you just take a new path in life. Ooh. Like, well, say, like restart as in like restart yourself. But then yourself. you just don't like. That's why when you do certain things, it's like oh, that's deja vu because I did that in another life. But yeah. it's like you just make different decisions than you made before. It's like it's just like clean slate. I don't think like I don't think you could reincarnate into like do a bug. Think, yeah, that's what people be saying. I would like no like if that's the case then I, I guess that's why they want to tell us that like, you could reincarnate to animals like that'd be so i'll be so mad like, <laughs> what if you could pick oh like like what you could reincarnate to would you pick a human still Ooh. would i want to be a bird i mean i'm taking these pictures <laughs> I'll, I'll make this the thumbnail <laughs> um i what? think i'll just reincarnate to a human again i think i would too like, there's no point in me being a bird if I'm going to live, like, tw- 10 years. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be any animal. I feel like animals have a harsh life. For sure. But, uh, that's not too bad. Dang. Because cause I remember I was I was looking at it the other day. Uh, do I want to talk about this? Fuck, I'll just talk about it. Like, they were saying how there's certain people, like, back in the days, there was, like, a big, there was, like, so say you you reach a certain like status or a certain like wealthy class, they figured out a way to like keep you immortal, 
but the way it is is like they clone your body and they just they just put your mind into that new body and then you just keep living who wants to be immortal like i don't know it's always just like they say it's like the the richest people in the world so it's like the rich people that you don't know they're rich but they're like stupid rich I still wouldn't want to be a movie. Cause like think about there's like a lot of people in movies like I I, I can't show like I can't show you think I don't got my phone on me but yeah. there's like um there's a lot of I don't know if you've seen this before there's a lot of like actresses and actors and famous people that look like a lot of people yeah, yeah, from yeah. the past. Mm-hmm. So I saw that video. So yeah, so it's like are they doppelgangers? But they look very similar. Like one of them was like a Egyptian actress or something like that from like the 1950s was um Jennifer Lawrence that lady that played Katniss. Mm-hmm. She looked just like that lady. Freaking uh, Jimmy Fallon was a um, was a I think like a German. They say he's like he used to be a German politician back in the sixties, fifties, and he looks the same. Queen Latifah was a I think was like a writer in the forties. Uh, they say Keanu Reeves is like the big like the big um, what's it called the big uh, deal breaker for the whole thing. Like they say Keanu Reeves is like the one that that looks makes like- this thing look like makes this thing looky like real because one he has a lot of people that he looks like mm-hmm. and like two like they joked about it before there was like i think he said something about he's been here for a long time and he's been living a lot of lives like if you go back there's like a bunch of pictures like probably like five people that look just like keanu reeves like you know who keanu reeves is? it's the dude from you ever watched um john wick you don't know john wick the guy that was shooting people up the guy with the suit <laughs> where's your phone at you know who this is no, I do, I do. I recognize the name. I just don't know how he looks. Jay don't watch anything unless it's freaking kidnapping. Kidnapping. This is why she's afraid. Like I don't know why she would like. She is afraid of. Be- That's her biggest fear of being kidnapped. But she watches every movie about it. Cause it's such. It's like so real. Like I can't That's watch what like you. unreal things. He just murking people. I forgot what other movie he was in. Oh. Yeah, him. You seen him before? Mm-hmm. So he, they think he's been living multiple lives. And, like, it kind of makes sense. They say it's only with the people that have, like, a, like, say you read, it's like a, it's like Illuminati type thing. Mm. So, it's like, if you reach that, it's like, all right, we're going to, we're going to put your brain in, like, a new, like, it's like putting your conscious in a new body, but you can now work that body. So, like, he knows that he's been living multiple lives? Yeah, like, you know that you've been living multiple lives, but you just play it off. Uh-oh. That's tough. Like, just imagine. Like, I'd be thinking with the Kardashians. Like, the, there's, like, a funny joke. I'd be th- thinking in my head, like, with the Kardashians. Like, this is uh, this is, this is kind of off topic. But, like, with the Kardashians and how everything they do, I just think, like, they be, they be, um, like, you ever watch Get Out? Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, Get Out was, like, based on the Kardashians. <laughs> Damn. Because, like, the Kardashians be getting all the black people, all the black athletes, and they switch their bodies with, like, with, like, white people. Mm-hmm. That's why they ask in basketball now. <laughs> like that's they, why the white people the shooters. Like that's why like Lamar Odom, I don't remember Lamar Odom doing crack before. Freaking Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons mid. I mean he's not that ass no more. Uh Chris Humphrey, you know, I don't even know if you know who Chris Humphreys is. He used to be he used to play on the Nets. He was really good. He married Kim Kardashian for seventy five days. Became ass. Blake Damn. Griffin. It's cause they in love. They stopped practicing. I don't know. Tristan Thompson. Who? I'll put this in there. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> but I don't know. They say, that's what I think. I, I make that joke about it all the time. Like, Get Out was based on the Kardashians, bro. The Kardashians, the Kardashians is luring these athletes in and switching their brains with white people, with their family members, <laughs> just so they can live their hoop dreams. They look evil. I, I believe it. Like, why? I, I don't know. They they look like a sick family. They do. I heard um, Khloe Kardashian is going through mental trauma because Tristan Thompson's been cheating on her so many times. <laughs> I was like, girl, this is your fault. That is your fault for bringing that man back in your life. You, that man is for the streets. That man, <laughs> that man does not belong in a home, bro. Right? He's sick. That man is cheating faithfully with the in front of the public. He don't care. Like he don't care about that. No, oh, free But people. she knows it though. So why keep going back? The it, what was that? Oh <laughs> don't my! Don't put God. that in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. You, you, your Tourette's is going to show, but. Now I want to get to the show since we're talking about legends and myths. So I got urban legends from each state of America. What? No. I don't know. I think you're mocking me. No. So, for you to say it. so people, if you, if you want us to do your state, comment down below. We're doing urban legends from each state. So today we got Florida. And this one kind of creeps me out because I don't like things like this. <laughs> so it's called Robert the Doll, right? So Robert? 
Robert. The doll is called Robert. But the story goes, a kid got a, a, a you know, it's like a, a little doll, but it's not, it's pretty big. It's like the size of like a, 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 a little four-year-old kid. Mm-hmm. So he got, a, he got a doll named Robert as a gift. And he would sleep next to Robert every day until one day he woke up and Robert was sitting in a chair right across from him. Oh. So he was like, how the hell he get? And then he was just. Wait, how old was the kid? I think he was about maybe like, I don't think they said the age, but I'm just going to go off a of guess like like eight maybe. Okay. So like he wakes up, in the, wakes up in the middle of the night and just the doll is just looking at him and staring at him. And then the family, then he got scared after that. So then the family took the doll and put him in the attic. And then over the next couple of weeks, they will hear like footprint, like somebody walking in the attic and somebody run up and down the stairs. And they think like a demonic spirit like possessed the doll. And even the neighbors, they would say like they would see like the doll like from the window like every night, just staring at the one, staring at them through the window. Mm-mm. And so they was like, you know, I'm done with this, bro. So they took, they brought the doll, and they it's in a museum now, like in them little ghost museums in Florida. I forgot where it's at. I don't know where it's at, people. So don't ask me. <laughs> so it's, it's somewhere they, they put it in a museum in Florida, and they say if you take a picture of him, like with him without asking, like bad things happen to you afterwards. So you leave like cursed. Oh hell no! Like that's, that's like some Annabelle stuff. Like. That shit is scary. Like, I don't like stuff like like dolls. Like, I remember Libby used to have mad dolls. And, like, I remember they used to... I, like, I would think, like, some of the dolls would, like, pop up in my room. Like, she used to have... Like, I remember my mom bought Libby a doll that looks just like her. I was like, why the hell did you do this? That American, American doll? Yeah, like, you could dress it up, like... It had, like, the little gap. Mm-hmm. She had the same clothes. I'm like, Mom, why would you do this? Like, why <laughs> would you, like, have this in our house? This is a voodoo doll. For cheer, that's all they used to get, like, American dolls. I never got one, but it was, like, a whole store just called American Dolls. And you go in there and try to make it look like you. That's creepy. Like, why does anybody want that? <laughs> like, what? Like, I used to be so scared. Like, I used to go in Libby's room. There used to be so many dolls in there. I used to just, like, it just creeps me out. Like, I swear, like, they used to just stare at me, but... Like, I always had, like, I had, like, of course, I always had toys, but I didn't have, like, no, and I remember, like, you know, the animal doll, you know, that whole thing is, like, real, right? Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, like, the, but, like, the doll that they have, they changed the doll. It's not, like, that scary looking. It's, like, a, it's, like, a, it's, I think it's called, like, Cuddle Me Up, Aunt, Cuddle Me Annie, something like that. But my mom used to have a doll like that because, like, it's, like, it's, like, a popular doll, but it looks like, a, um, them dolls you could, like, sew up and make. Yeah. It's not, like, a... It's not like how the doll. It's not like the doll that they have in the movie. They just made that to make it look. I'll scarier. be afraid to get rid of it though, because that's when. If I they, get rid of it, it comes angry. back. Like imagine it came back. That's what I used to be afraid of. Like if I just throw them shits out and just come back. Oh yeah, no. God, I would be done. Mm-hmm. Like as soon as that happens, I'm done. But I would. Pr- I'm, I'm gonna play, do a prank like that one day. Don't do that. Not on me. I don't know. They go like I'm, you gonna throw it out. I'm just gonna put it back in your room. You uh, should do that to your parents because they. You already think this house is haunted. My mom knows it. I think my mom, me and my mom have an idea. It's not really haunted. There's just something in here. There's like a, we call it a little troll. That just I mean, at least it's friendly. He cool. I'd be thinking like he, he watching me. I'd just be like, You're crazy. did I see that? I like, no, nah, I'd be, oh God. Like when I'd be playing the game at like three, four o'clock in the morning, I'd be walking around the crib and I'd be looking at shit. I'd be thinking I see something in the corner. I'm like, what's good, brother? <laughs> nah, and after we watch pushing. that movie Smile and I go in the dark, like when I get up a lot to go pee at the middle of the night. And I go in the dark because I don't feel like turning on none of the lights. And I'd be so scared to look out like my back door window. Yeah. I'd be like, don't look at nothing. I know. Just go to the bathroom. I, I wanted to talk about that movie too. I don't want to spoil nothing like that. But people, if you, if you guys didn't watch Smile, yeah, Smile is like the little new scary movie that came out. It's pretty good. I ain't it's not lie. scary. That's scary. <laughs> it was it was one of the scary. It's scarier than the past movies we watched. Yeah, but they were like, it's one of the scariest movies I've nah, ever yeah, they, seen. Nah, yeah, they kind of gassed in like, OD. Like, the Conjuring is scarier. Conjuring one. Um, the Conjuring, I actually like. I was in the movies with my, like a yeah, sweater like okay. that. Yeah, I okay. wasn't like I watched the whole movie. Like I didn't even go like this one time. I did. They wasn't catching me with them. Yeah, jump I know you did. <laughs> JB, trying, they just want to see me like scream in the He's middle. He's barely of the movie watching the movie. She That's don't know why. that. Don't I know do that. know that like, you're you're sitting there with your freaking. How how I got it? How's it, how's it look? You gonna say? Like this. But How you, you gonna say like I'm gonna say that's what I'm doing? Nah, you wasn't watching it. He was like, I can see the movie. I just barely. You I just to... cover up so the jump scares won't go. So I don't see the jump scare. It caught me one time. Caught me lacking. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! <laughs> caught me lacking. It's a good, it's a good concept. I like the concept. Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, I just think 
I just think shit like that, like the dolls and this shit heavy. Yeah, I'm like, what you doing? <laughs> what fucking is scratching the thing? I just think the dolls and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Like my dad, my dad would um, what's it called? We don't tell him that there's a ghost because he just doesn't want to hear it. Like, does he like movies like that? No. Like scary? No. Nah, not really. My mom don't. My mom's not scared of shit like that. Your mom is the one who doesn't like the um, like what? action movies. Well, not action. Like um, she don't like she don't like movies like that, fake stuff. No, not fake. But she don't like like movies that have no like plot to it. Mm. Like like John Wick. She don't like John Wick because all John Wick does is just kill people. Does she like like Marvel and whatever? No, nah, she just she likes Star Trek mm. and like the Star Wars type of movies and Harry Potter. She like anything with like a good storyline. She will like that stuff. But like like John Wick literally. They make they murked this dog and just started. He just started wowing for no reason. <laughs> his dog? Yeah, he killed his dog. And he just started killing everybody. Like he caught like three hundred bodies at least, just walking around, just killing people. Like that's all the movie was. Like that was the most simplest movie to make, bro. Like, but I got I got a question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So you're going to be locked in this room with an an with these animals for two hours. Which one are you choosing, or which one are you surviving? Mm-hmm. So it's a room with twenty five venomous snakes, a room with twenty five. Oh no, a room with a hundred mosquitoes, a room with fifty spiders, or a room with fifty wasps. Um, I mean I'm gonna survive the mosquitoes, but I don't want no, all them sm- I, I don't want that. No. <laughs> I don't want that. I would just kill myself. Like just for two hours, just imagine getting like, bit. Nah, you might not you might not survive that. The mosquitoes love me. One one mosquito might have malaria. You don't even know. Malaria? That's what, like, you know, mosquitoes is like the one thing that be killing people. Like, for if you, real? Yeah, because I, I could die. They be I loving mean, me. They be eating me all the time. But you're used to it. If you, like, say you go to Africa, like, that's why you gotta get shots. Cause some Aww. of the, they, cause, like, the people around there, they're used to, like, the things. Like, that's why if somebody from, like, like Africa comes here, they have to, like, get shots cause they're not used to, like, the, the sicknesses we have. Aww. Like, that come with the, the, um, mosquitoes. So, yeah. like, they be carrying a lot of diseases. What was the first one? 25 venomous snakes. I think I'm going to do that one. I could do that one. Because snakes don't bother you unless you, like, antagonize it. I know, but or if like it's a small... It. But, like, what if, like, one, that one snake just keep looking at me like, what is this guy? And I'm just going to, like... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to just stand there, like, like for a whole two hours. Ah. Uh, what was the third one? Room with 50 spiders. I, I would Ooh, I might do that myself. One. As long as they're not crawling on me, I can, step, I can step on a couple. I'll stomp them out. 50 is a lot. It ain't that bad. Fifty spiders. Nah, I might do the I might do the fifty spiders actually. I can't. Crawling on me. They ain't gonna be crawling on you. Fifty's not even that like fifty it, How how oh. big is the room? If it's a small room, they gonna get Dang, to Dang, that's tarantulas too. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, no I can kill fifty tarantulas. I'm 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 going there. I'm thugging. Imagine now. like the stomping on them in the crunch. I don't care. Give me my Tims, bro. <laughs> Give me my Tims. Or a room of 50 wash. I'm not doing no, that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing I'm that. not surviving. Nope. I'm cool. I'm cool. Mm-mm. I'm doing the snakes. You doing the snakes? Yeah. I'm doing the snakes. I can't do spiders. I can't do wasps. And I'm not doing mosquitoes. But why not spiders, though? Like, it's not even that bad. Like, tarantulas think about- are nasty and ugly. Like, if they start crawling on me, and then I can't stop a, stomp a tarantula out, I don't want to hear the... For you... <laughs> I might have like a uh, whatever a tarantula phobia. Oh, uh, you are arachnophobia? In? You got arachnophobia? It makes me want to throw up. Oh, you arachnophobia? Nah, I could do that. Mm-mm. Cause the snakes, you could die from them shit. I mean, it could be venomous spiders. But look, imagine there's fifty spiders in here. That's not that much. This is a pretty big room. Just think and about imagine it. there's 50 snakes in here. I'm going to hop on the bed. That's it. The wild. motherfuckers going to crawl on that bed, bro. Like, there's no way to... There's no no place to, like, really stand on. 50, 50 snakes? That They could be big. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? So, imagine 50 spiders everywhere. That's not bad. On your bed. On the ca- on the counters. All over. All right, I'm going to find a spot. And if they go in my circle, I'm just going to stomp them. A tarantula? Yeah, just stomp on that game. Just stop. You got. You got. <laughs> oh my god! I can't wait to make this clip. It's gonna be too funny. I'm picturing it like you stomp. <laughs> it's not that bad. Ooh, I just got the chills. 
So you so you're gonna pick the venomous snakes. Mm-hmm. You are gonna survive two hours. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna pick the spiders. People, let me know what you picking, bro. But oh, I got another question, right? Mm-hmm. So Elon Musk is giving you his whole bank account, right? Yeah. But the condition is that you will be randomly blind once a year for a whole month every year for the rest of your life. So so you will wake up one day just can't see for a, and then you got to you, you're not going to be able to see for a whole month. The whole month is crazy. Yeah. But but it's not like at the start of the month either. It's like it could for ha- one year? No. For the once, rest of my life. Once a year for the rest of your life, so one month. I think I'll do that. For his whole bank account, though? Yeah, how much money that man has? I know. I heard if you stack his money, that should go up and back to the moon like 50 times. So can I pay for something? Like, what you going to pay for? Laser. <laughs> nah, you're just going to be blind. Like, I have to? You like, have to be I don't blind. have a choice? You don't have a choice. You like, have to I be can't blind. buy nothing with his money. You cannot see for a month. <laughs> you're gonna be, it's going to be pitch black for a month. I'm going to have to do it. I'm it's not, one month out of twelve. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you, you, you be chilling. If it's your birthday month, that's tough. <laughs> but <laughs> it's our birthday month. Oh well, it could oh, be yeah. any time. Like it could be like it could be like January thirty. What if you have a vacation set? I know that vacation be, month, deed. That'd be so bad. I mean, but you could just reschedule. But like for a whole month, you can't see. Like you have to, pre- you have to prepare. I like, hope it's January every month. I know. I mean, right? every year. Like, imagine that shit's fucking... Like, you're just waiting for it. Like, you really can't enjoy your life. I'm definitely going to do it, though. Yeah, I, I will. Oh, It's my. just for a month. I don't have to see people's face. But just I'd rather that, be deaf, though. All right, wait. Close, our, close our eyes right now. Let's see. This is all you This is all you see for a month. <laughs> this is all you see for a month. That's good, though, because I don't like seeing people's faces. Well, what's that got to do with anything? Like, you got... You can't walk. You I have can't. a break. I could walk. <laughs> what you go... You go walk... I'll be... Yeah, you could... You could I have a stick, and then I have somebody walk around with me. Man, you have a dog? Oh, yeah, that's even better. I have a, a golden retriever. You don't have one, have one in the cut just in case? Like, you're not even, you can't even go to school for real. Like, how you, I mean, we're not going to be schooling. We, we got, we rich, but like, damn. But like, you still got your eyes closed. Bro, just think about it. Like, just, like, just, you imagine waking up, and it's just darkness. I'll be pissed. Like, fuck, it's my time. <laughs> like dang, bro. I'd rather be deaf. Oh, you rather be? Would you rather be deaf than blind? I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like anybody would. But nah, people be saying that they rather hear. Like I saw TikTok the other day asking that, would you rather be deaf or blind? And they said, one person said that he rather rather be blind. I don't know what the hell he hearing. He must right. love music. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, like I know silence. Heard. I love silence. Like I'll be fine, but you won't. You like but. listening to your music. How are you gonna listen to your podcast? How are you gonna edit? You gonna have to edit for me. Hell no. <laughs> you gotta edit this shit for me. You gotta hold it down for a month. You gonna have to pay for an editor. What? You gotta hold this shit down, bro. <laughs> but nah, I think I think for all the Elon Musk bank account, I think I would do it, bro. It's only a month, people. You know, I could try to find my way. Yeah. I'm just gonna be handicapped for a month. Little dis- disabled. Whoa, <laughs> that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad, people. She's gassing. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. But for the last part of the show, bro, I know you guys starting to like the draft. So we got a different draft today. I think the first draft we had was beverages. Now we're gonna do desserts. So if you're new, we're gonna. So how it works is we're gonna pick a starting five of desserts, and you guys in the comments let us know which one who has the best list or if we missed anything. So, like us, ladies first, you get to pick. Go ahead. Don't look at my list. She got a whole list, people. I'm doing it off the no, dome. No, it's not a whole list. It's, I just put four because I can't think of five. Go ahead. You, <laughs> Wait, do I say my fifth one or? Remember, this is a draft. So, you got to you gotta correspond to, like, the number one got the number one pick got to be the best one. So, I'm saying, like, the worst one right now. Well, like, not the worst, but my fifth? No, we're doing, like, first round pick. Oh, first round? Yes, first round pick. You get to go first. Unless you want me to go first so I can start it off. No, no, no. All right, go ahead. No, you go first. Are you no, sure? No, 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 because I feel like you're going to pick mine. Do you want rock, paper, scissors, shoe to be fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Two out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. What the you fuck? Suck. I always lose. <laughs> bro, I swear. She, I don't know, bro. All right. All right I'm going to just ahead. say my number one. All right, what's your first round draft pick? Cheesecake. Okay, that's solid. 
Cheesecake? Any specific cheesecake or just cheesecake? I think just a plain one. Uh, I like red velvet cheesecake, but, but like people, a lot of people might. Yeah, not. just cheesecake uh, is uh, good uh, for anything. I'm gonna go with the very underrated pick. I'm going with s'mores. S'mores. Number one pick, first round draft pick, s'mores. <laughs> That's that's decent. S'mores. But I just it's the fact that I can't eat a lot of s'mores. Like I eat two and I'm done. That's still a lot. I eat like nah. I can't. I if I wasn't if I like if I'm one of those people that got fast metabolism, I get like four or five of them hoes. Mm. All right. Second. What's your second round pick? <laughs> uh, I, I feel like a lot of people don't eat this, though. I was going to say a Blizzard from Dairy Queen, the s'mores one. Bussin'. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Blizzards? It's just that's ice a, cream. That is, the that's like a Sunday. The crackers in it, the chocolate in it. Oh. In it? <laughs> in it. <laughs> all right, all right. So I said s'mores. I'm going to go a hot fudge Sunday. Mm. I feel like a lot of people love hot fudge sundaes. It's like a it's like a classic though. Yeah, it's basic. Basic. <laughs> I'm not fucking talking about Blizzard. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, second one. I mean, third one. Yeah, third one. I'm gonna have to go with something specific. A lava cake from Domino's. Them lava cakes? Mm -hmm. So just like chocolate cake? Just chocolate cake. But that has to have the hot fudge inside. Oh, so anything with the hot... Ah. I'm uh, frying you right now. No, you're now. not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're talking about some... I don't even remember what your first pick I was. That's cheesecake. How, that's not even like that. All right. Um, fuck. Uh, desserts. Damn. What I got? I got hot fudge. Oh. All right. Okay. Apple pie. Mm, I love apple pie. Apple, apple pie. Is good. I think that's a good third round pick. So this is fourth, right? Yeah. I'm going to just say ice cream cake. Ice cream cake? Yeah. Oh, I'll fry you now. It's a the brownie. The crunch. Crunch? The crunch in that ice cream cake, the little, the chocolate part. I just fried you. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you did not. Because I'm picking brownies. Oh, I'm, I'm that's that's a that's a good that's a fourth round pick brownies. That's crazy. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Fifth, I don't even know. Let me think. This is your last pick of the draft. I can't even think of any desserts. That's the thing. Just think anything you eat at night times. Anything you get from the like the menus. Is Oreos a dessert? <laughs> I don't eat a lot of dessert stuff. Anything sweet? Um, is is churros a dessert? Yeah. All right, I'll say churros. Oh, you going with the Spanish people? You getting the Spanish people on your side? But I think I got all the people fried Oreos. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you fried! I said Oreos. What? I said, can I pick Oreos? And you never answered me. Hey. Clip that. <laughs> Girls think she in Twitch. Like, who the fuck? Who are you telling the clip? Like, who? Who are you talking? You talking to me? You gotta point at me. I ain't clipping that shit. Nah, don't cut that out. Put that on the TikTok. You said you Oreos. To. I said okay. fried Oreos. Yeah, but I said, can I use Oreos? And you never answered me, so that could have led up to fried you can, Oreos. I mean, that's not my problem. Nah. Like, that's your problem. <laughs> you too. You indecisive. All right, churros. That's it. Let us know who got the best five in the comments down below. I don't even think it's a question. I don't think it's a question. Uh, maybe you said stuffed churros. Churros, any type of churros. Them stuffed churros from Jamaica. Ooh, mm, fried fried just got I do. They don't even. They ain't never had that shit before. <laughs> if you've been to Jamaica, whatever you know. resort we was at. I don't even know where we was. Montague? No, we was in there. We was somewhere. No, Negro was the first one. Don't even. Ocho Rio. Ocho Rio. There, there you go. go. I can't wait for the next vacation. We're going on a cruise, people. We're going on a cruise. Podcast on the cruise. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I ain't doing that shit. I got it. That's, that's my vacation. I think I think when I hit the 100 episodes, I think I'm going to take like a week break. Please. You need it. Yeah, people. So stop. Don't bug me about it. Cause I remember they was asking me. Somebody was asking me like before when I missed a week. They was like, what happened to the episode this week? I was like, what the fuck? Mm -mm. But hey, let's, get, uh, let's get the fuck out of me. <laughs> But you got anything else you want to talk about? Any controversial stuff? Anything you want to discuss? Anything that's on your mind? Because it looked like you, you got, your, your Tourette's is going. <laughs> People, Jay got Tourette's. If y'all know it, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, every time she has a little moments, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna no. put the thing. Like, yep, I'm gonna show you. 
No, I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> JK is <laughs> in the one spot. But thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're subscribed, like the channel, send to a friend. Follow all the podcast. Follow all the podcasting. Follow us on all podcasting platforms. Goddamn. Follow all the socials. Links will be down below. And shout out again to our sponsor, Naturalist Sheila G. Like I said in the beginning, if you guys need something for your mind to help your anxiety, help your um mental health, help you focus in school, help you with just being healthy in general, this stuff, well, this stuff is good for you, people. You can, it either comes in pure Sheila G or Jay can show you again. It comes in the honey form, which I prefer the honey because it got a little it got a little taste to it. So I prefer the honey. So like I said, use code no regulars. Link down in the description. She natural Sheila G resin dot com. Code no regulars. Save you a little bit of money and you know it can help us out in the long run too. So thank y'all again for supporting us. And yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say? Mm-mm. I got one thing to say. If you don't be afraid to be great, people. The only thing stopping y'all from being great is yourselves. Don't be like, oh, now I'm waiting on this person to help me. Nah, it's on you. But anybody could be great. It's just if you want. It's just if you want to put the time and effort into it. You know what I'm saying? Gangsta, nigga. But we different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta.